Hi, I'm Jessica Lahr and this is a look at your week in the Finger Lakes. A fantastic run of pleasant weather has area residents out in the yards, on golf courses, and even opening their pools. And they'll be glad if they did because we're expected to have our first taste of midsummer-like weather heading into the weekend. Thursday will be mostly sunny with afternoon highs around 80 and it will get even warmer on Friday with highs in the mid-80s. The unseasonal warmth will continue into Mother's Day weekend with highs in the low 80s on both Saturday and Sunday. With the heat comes a chance of an isolated thunderstorm with the best chance coming into Sunday morning. You can get the latest Finger Lakes forecast and live radar images at our local weather center or on the FingerLakes1.com Android or iPhone app. Next, a look at this week's most clicked on stories at FingerLakes1.com. A single engine airplane was taking off from the Penyan Airport in the town of Milo on Sunday morning when something went wrong, causing a violent crash that claimed the life of the pilot. 55-year-old Ontario County business owner Stephen Seeley of Stanley. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board were in Penyan this week to determine what caused Seeley's single-engine plane to veer off the runway and strike the ground hard with the nose of the aircraft before coming to rest near the airport fence nearly 100 yards away. The investigation could take several months before there is a conclusion as to what caused the crash. A barn fire in Dundee late Monday evening killed 55 animals at the farm of James Eberly on Route 14A. 37 milking cows, 15 smaller cows, and three horses were lost along with a barn which was completely destroyed. The Yates County Fire Investigation Team could not immediately determine the cause of the blaze that was first reported by a passerby on Route 14A. A cashier is unharmed after police say two robbers forced her at gunpoint to open up the cash register on Monday night in Sodus. Police say a male and female worked together to steal cash and cigarettes from Speedy's Valero gas station on Route 104. Anyone with information can contact the state police in Williamson, 315-589-8288. Over the past week, police have responded to Maryland Road in Phelps several times for the report of miniature horses running loose in the area. An investigation determined that Renee K. Mobley, the owner of the miniature horses, was aware that the horses were able to get out of their stalls. Once out, they ran into the highway, stopping traffic and creating a safety risk. The horses were not injured. Mobley was arrested and charged with criminal nuisance. Read more on all these stories and hundreds more from over 40 local sources online at FingerLakes1.com. When we come back, we'll share some great local photos from around the Finger Lakes this week, and we'll give you some ideas on how you can spend Sunday with your mom and enjoy the great weather this weekend. So many sights to see on the internet, but for everything local, there's no place you can get it. At FingerLakes1.com Come on over to FingerLakes1.com Mike has your homepage News, weather, sports, and fun Log on to FingerLakes1 Local news from over 40 sources, custom local weather, over 10 hours of live broadcasts and podcasts every week on your computer, tablet, television, or smartphone. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Tommy, Tommy. www.fingerlakes1.com Well, spring has certainly sprung and area photographers were out in force across the Finger Lakes. Here's a few of our favorite local photos posted at our site this week. Chris Trine was out at daybreak on Sunday morning, which offered perfect conditions for enjoying the sunrise and a bit of fishing from the pier in Sodus Point. Patrick McCann found this bumblebee loading up on pollen on Sunday in Seneca Falls. Cassandra Burkholder caught the lingering rays of light slowly fading over Seneca Lake at Sampson State Park at sundown in this photo. Diane Dersch captured these birds in mid-flight over the lighthouse at Sodus Point this past weekend. 
Lisa Dupre was at Ludlowville Falls in Lansing where the water was making its way downstream to Cayuga Lake. Midlakes and Newark met on the field in girls lacrosse late last week with the Eagles picking up a 14-2 win over the Lady Reds. This photo was taken by Jim Miranda. And it wouldn't be spring at FingerLakes1.com without great photos of songbirds, like this shot of an American goldfinch enjoying breakfast in the backyard of Mike Sargent in Farmington. You can check out more recent local photos by clicking on the photos link at the top of our homepage or by tapping the photos tab on our app. I was in Canandaigua on Tuesday preparing to be a part of a collaborative fashion show involving area small businesses, students, and community leaders to benefit the Breast Health Patient Navigation Program at Thompson Health. I stopped in at the Country U on Main Street to talk to the owner. A silent auction donor, Katie Compton and Barbara Landon also joined us from Canandaigua Academy about this awesome event coming up on May 14th. Here we are in downtown Canandaigua at the beautiful clothing and accessory store Country U, and I'm with owner Michelle McElhaney. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Jessica. Yes, I know you're trying to get the word out about an upcoming fundraiser. Could you share what that event is and where and when it's being held? Sure. It's Stratton for Cause Fashion Show, and it's at the Canandaigua Academy on May 14th. The doors open at 7, the show starts at 7.30. Wonderful. And here is a gentleman who is very generous and he's donating to the silent auction. Rob Lillis, can you share with us what tie you have with the organization that's benefiting from this and what you're donating? Okay, well, first of all, my wife was uh, treated for breast cancer at Thompson and is a huge supporter, wonderful care. And we're donating a trip to uh, the Chatamac Club. So if you have a fisherman anywhere in the family, this is a dream trip. Uh, it's a private club. Uh, near Gore Mountain Ski Area with a private lake that has only trout, rainbow uh, native brook trout and brown trout, a 120 year old lodge with great cooks and the package will include uh, two night stay, all your meals, use of the boats, the equipment and fly fishing lessons if you like them uh, for two people. Wow, yep. so what is the value of something like that? Well if you could go, uh, <laughs> you know at least fifteen hundred dollars probably. That's amazing. Yeah. So generous. Well, thank yeah. you for getting involved and, uh, and donating God. such a wonderful uh, prize auction that someone's going to win. Mm -hmm. And if you could kind of explain who is benefiting from this, what organization is benefiting from this fundraiser, that'd be wonderful. It's the navigation program at Thompson Health. It's a program that is designed to help navigate patients once they're diagnosed through the system. Well, I'm joined by Mrs. Landon, a Canandaigua Academy teacher and a student named Katie, who are both involved in the fashion show. Mrs. Landon, can you tell us what the students are required to do? Well, we have a variety of activities. Katie has taken on the charge of coordinating a number of our models to get their dresses and uh, formal wear done through Antoinette's, for example, and she also came up with Stratton for Cause, which is our, uh, if you will, our tagline for this whole show, which is really cool. A lot of the other students have been involved ticket selling, they've uh, been involved coming up with additional items, such as the little bow that I'm wearing here. We have every student wearing a bow, and uh, a lot of things like that, and spreading the word about the show. I love that. Now, is this something that you came up with to get the students involved with this project, or? Well, actually, Michelle came up with this idea, and she approached me, gosh, it was in the middle of the summer. I had an intern that was working here, actually, at the store, and we were talking about one thing after another, and I'm like, ooh, this sounds like a good plan. <laughs> How about we incorporate that into my leadership participation in government class? So I have two classes, and this was a great project for them to get involved with. 
So they actually do receive some type of grading they, on this. They will earn the hours that they need. And in this particular course, they need a minimum of 40 volunteer community service-based hours. Wow. That's so wonderful. yeah, this, this goes towards that. Oh, wonderful. Now, what has this meant to you as a student to get involved with a community project like this? Um, it's really cool, actually. Um, I didn't realize that it was going to be this much work, actually, when I first started it. But now that I've been doing it, it's really cool because it can um, prepare me for things that I will be doing later on in life. So I've enjoyed it very much. Absolutely. And it's mm -hmm. fulfilling to give back. To know yeah, what for the cause itself, is, um, it's very neat to be able to be a part of something this big and this um, something that means so much to everyone else. So. I've enjoyed it a lot. Oh, wonderful. Now, are you going to be modeling in the show? No. <laughs> I am not modeling. No, I'm oh. behind the scenes. Um, <laughs> I've just helped the models make sure that they're where they're supposed to be and help coordinate things between Michelle and Mrs. Landon. So that's basically been my job. Um, but no, I will, I will not be walking across She's the stage. She's done a great job at that. Well, it is a big task, so uh, yeah. you'll have a lot to do. I'm sure you'll be very busy. Thank you so much for having us. Sure. Well, I'm excited. I'm going to be there. I'm wearing one of your pieces now from your beautiful store, and I know there are other places involved uh, with the fashion side of it. Where can people purchase tickets? You can purchase tickets at the Country U, Dick Anthony's, Antoinette Bridal, CNB Bank, and through the school, through the students that are involved in Barbara Landon. Wonderful. And they're twelve dollars a piece. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Jessica. The Strutton for a Cause Fashion Show starts at seven next Thursday in Canandaigua. In local theaters this week, the epic follow-up to the biggest superhero movie of all time, The Avengers: Age of Ultron, is playing this week in Auburn, Geneva, Canandaigua, Penyan, Victor, Lyons, and Ithaca. Also playing locally this week, Hot Pursuit starring Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara, Furious 7, The Age of Adeline, and Unfriended. For complete local showtimes, click on movies at the top of our homepage or check the FingerLakes1.com Android or iPhone app. Happening around the Finger Lakes this Mother's Day weekend, on Friday, Sonnenberg Gardens has a buy one get one free admission special to celebrate National Public Gardens Day. There is also an opening reception in Penyan for an exhibit by Webster artist Mark Verna at the Arts Center of Yates County. On Saturday, the Knights of Columbus are hosting a ZD dinner in Waterloo. There is a Muds and Suds Children's Obstacle Course race in Painted Post, and the Finger Lakes Luna Chicks Roller Derby team will face off against the Dirt Road Deers at the Lions Community Center with proceeds to go to the Beverly Animal Shelter. On Sunday, treat your mother to, cru to a cruise on Canandaigua Lake as moms ride for free on the Canandaigua Lady, which is docked at Lakeshore Drive. Plenty of great Mother's Day brunch options, including the Inns of Aurora, the Springside in Auburn, Club 86 in Geneva, Seneca Falls Country Club, and Ventosa Vineyards. If brunch isn't your mom's style, you can bring her to the annual Mother's Day Chicken Barbecue hosted at the Senate Fire Station on Turnpike Road. Check out more details on these events by visiting our community calendar. If you missed it on FingerLakes1.tv this week, Jan Caracillo was a guest on Weber this week on Monday morning where she discussed the rich history of the Trinity Church, which is one of the most photographed buildings in New York State. Well, of course, the church started when Seneca Falls started. Wow. And the history of the church is almost the history of Seneca Falls. When you talk about some of the people, particularly men in those days, that were prominent in the church, the streets of town, Swaby, Day, Daniels, they were all members of Trinity. Wow. So it's sort of a, yeah. a history that goes along with the village, really. We began over on Baird Street when we had the first building, but they had worshiped, of course, before sure. in private areas. And um, then that church grew so quickly that within 50 years we had to build another one. So, Amazing. Which is when we came over, and of course we were up on a hill over the flats, over the village, and uh, in 1915 all that changed. And of course we'll be celebrating that this fall. Wow. Well, August, I should say. 100 years. 
A uh, hundred years for the locks to right. become operational. It's called After the Falls, and it's August 7th through the 20th. And I might add... Uh... Kenny, Kenny Haas was back in studio with his reaction to the NFL draft held last weekend, and here he gives his thoughts on the Buffalo Bills' first pick of the draft. They waited till the second round, and they had a big thunderous applause. When Jim Kelly came on to announce Buffalo's first draft pick for this year's draft. Heck, it's pretty good to see that Kelly's getting along. And you know my prayers and all prayers of Bill's Nation are for Kelly. Keep getting stronger, Jim. Get well. And their first pick turned out to be from Florida State. Defensive back Donald Darby. Thing is, Buffalo, I mean, it might have been a position of depth. Buffalo really didn't need to make a defensive back for their first pick, but I can see their reasoning. Denoris Searcy, who had emerged as a pretty good star last year, was lost via free agency to Tennessee. Aaron Williams was starting to step up to be a solid defensive back, but I could see them making this pick with Darby. And the thing is, I kind of wonder, he's another one who's got the dreadlocked hair. Are Buffalo going for a fashion statement? Heck, Sammy Watkins already has d dreadlocked hair. Maybe Darby could add to this little fashion statement that the Bills want to make. But I digress. If I were the coach, I'd make them cut their hair. Because uh, per personally, I think dreadlocked hair is a little... Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not Rex Ryan. But Darby could provide some much-needed depth for the Bills. Let's see what happens. On this week's Finger Lakes Golfer podcast, Jim Sinecropi and Bob LaPrade unbox the latest golf shoe from Adidas. Another product here that uh, isn't Bob's pick of the week, but I figured I'd bring them in here before I start wearing them and, for, and never bring them up here. I got a new pair of golf shoes tonight down at the Seneca Falls Country Club Pro Shop. I got nice. the Adidas Adacross. Um, they're one of the sneaker style shoes. Mm. Uh, about a hundred bucks, which is not a bad price for a pair of golf shoes. Can we see the bottom? Yeah, the bottom's where it gets uh, interesting. Oh wow! See these red? Uh, these are these are the Adacross uh, mm -hmm. grip more part and. Uh, this is supposed to make all the difference, and you can feel it. They look like a, a bunch of mini, and it almost looks like these things would screw out, but they look like a little mini Cleat. um, cleats, yeah. And uh, just in the middle, and then at the toe and the heel, they have some deeper uh, kind of cleats, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I haven't even put them on my feet yet, so I'm not going to give them a proper review, but I just kind of wanted to show you. Justin Rose wears these. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'll do anything Justin Rose does. You know that about it. I said. I would too. <laughs> Actually, Dennis Leahy, who was in here last week, um, is running the shop down at Seneca Falls as general manager. And um, he said, here you go. These are the shoes you want. And he's a much better dresser than me. So yeah, me too. I figured I'd go, go with him. Well, you slept pretty bad last Wednesday night, so I'm glad you got some new shoes. I did. I, I uh my back foot came right out from under me, and I was pretty much airborne for about a good 3.5 seconds, which is probably <laughs> the max air time I can get. Right. And uh, I still hit the ball down the middle of the fairway. I, nice. It was a bad, bad slip. So oh. not anymore with these. Okay. I will see. Maybe we'll review them next week. Okay. Yeah, but I'd like to. I, can, I don't even know if they're comfortable or not. They have Check out all of this week's episodes at FingerLakes1.tv or on the Finger Lakes one TV tab on our app. All our audio programming is also streaming in rotation on Finger Lakes One Radio. Thanks for joining me for another edition of FLX Weekly. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and grandmothers out there. I'll be back next Wednesday afternoon. For FingerLakesOne.com, I'm Jessica Lahr. Enjoy this great summer-like weather and have a great weekend.